So cooking like this, and especially when you get in a in a little bit of a lull, uh, you know, kind of relaxing and have time for your your own thoughts and to to contemplate a little bit and. Been kind of contemplating um, contemplating the, the subject of of hungry kids or or kids that are just absolutely starved for for attention for um, kids that the parents don't 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 provide what they need either, either there's not a there's not a father in the house or the mother the mother is there by herself working two or three jobs trying to uh, struggle and to to make a living and uh, I remember uh, the family uh, started out with with um, a few kids and and grew um, grew to seven kids over over the years, and um, my daddy was, uh, of course, he was my stepdaddy. I, I I call him my daddy. That's the only real daddy. I mean, I had a real daddy, but anyway, lived with my mom and my father and my my brothers and sisters. And but, but one thing I do remember, you know, trying to maybe tie this back to cooking and. Uh, we weren't. Uh, my daddy was a, a carpenter. He uh, wasn't a union carpenter. He wasn't interested in union, and uh, he was a carpenter. Didn't make a lot of money, and you have kids to support. And so the man went to work every day. And I, I do remember absolutely. We uh, growing up, uh, Mama cooked some oh, delicious, delicious, delicious food for us, and she always she always kept us fed and. Um, couple recollections there. One of them is my um, the worst food I ever ate in my life was fried eggplant. When you cut an eggplant three quarters inch thick, cut it round and three quarters inch thick, and you fry it in lard, and the lard isn't uh, isn't hot enough, so when it goes in there, it soaks a while. When it comes out, it weighs about one slice away, about a pound, uh, and you're supposed to eat that. I, I would, that was that was tough going there, but uh, but one thing I do remember, you know, back to the, the back to the the father the father thing and the father image, and um, my dad was he was a real man. He he went to work every day, every single day of his life. Uh, there was no such thing as a, a sniffle, a cold, or a, a broken arm, or, or anything would keep Jimmy Strohmeyer at home. And and uh, and he brought the money home. He didn't drink it away. Uh, maybe he had once once every three or four weeks. You might see a, a six pack of Dixie beer in the fridge. And maybe on a hot Saturday afternoon, Daddy would have a an ice cold Dixie. But Anyway, the, 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 what I was getting at the, the whole time is that um, I do remember Mama, Mama would cook one chicken, and all the kids would get a piece of chicken, and uh, my daddy, uh, he ate the back. He ate the back, and that was his protein, and he got up in the morning and went and busted it uh, of building houses. and. Um, I don't understand how some people can, I mean, we always had food on our back. We always had uh, our, our, our clothes on our back and shoes on our feet and food on the table. We always, we didn't go without, we ate beans and rice. I, I had more than one onion sandwich in the summertime, but you know what? An onion sandwich with some blue plate or Swegman's mayonnaise or Whatever it was, uh, it doesn't get a whole lot better than that. When you anyway, you got a child out there, even one child that you left behind somewhere. Yeah, you might. Uh, that, I don't mean nothing to me, nothing to me, but I mean, maybe you ought to think about 
uh, that child's going to struggle all through his life because you're not there. And if you are there, um, you need to take care of your family. And if you don't take care of your family, you, you're not much of a man at all. Uh, you know, I look at that side. It's a horrible thing to say. Um, I'm not even going to say it. Anyway, I'm off of that. Let me stir the potatoes. <laughs>